Okay, today we're looking at the Torxus I0600. Uh, most of the Torxus servos behave in the same way as this one will. Um, it's uh, basically a giant version of a hobby servo. So uh, there are widely available hobby servos like this that have three wires, signal, power, and ground, and they accept a five volt pulse width modulated signal. Well, the Torxus servo works the same way. It has two wires to pick up the ground and the pulse width modulated or PWM signal. And then because it's such high torque, it requires its own power. So we power it with separate uh, 12 volts. So that 12 volt power can come from a battery, a power supply, uh, whatever, as long as it can source the current for the servo and, and the inrush current into the servo for microseconds will be probably upward of 10 amps, but a uh, three or four amp source can handle the servo just fine because the continuous load of, of the servo is about, uh, the continuous draw is about uh, amp to an amp and a half even at full load. So it's a very short duration. So battery does very well with it. A power supply just needs to be able to source that inrush for a brief period. So let's let's go ahead and power this thing up and uh, see if we can make it spin. I'll show you how easy it is. This is basically a box that generates a five volt pulse width modulated signal. It's the same as you would get from you know a hobby radio control unit, um, or it's the same signal that you would get from you know an Arduino. Okay, so let's connect up the servo to some power. I just have a, a wheelchair battery here. So black is minus, as you'd expect. Red is plus. And voila, it's powered. So we'll flip on this box. This box is also a Gearworks product. It's a six channel slider controller. The advantage of something like this, it works really good as a test box because you can slide the servo to a position and then the servo will stay in that position. I'll demonstrate with this hobby servo. Um, and this particular box provides 180 degrees of travel. So the servo stays in the position, whereas a joystick, it would spring back to center. So it's a really nice test box and you'll see we get, you know, about 180 degrees of travel out of this servo. Uh, okay, so we have a good signal. Now let's put that into the Torxus servo and I'm gonna lay it down on the side so we can see the output horn. And we get 180 degrees of travel out of this servo. And Important to note is that our servos out of the box, the standard servos I00600, I00800, and others, they have programming that will give 90 degrees of travel with a 90 degree input signal. However, all of our servos are capable of 270 degree travel if you send the 270 degree signal to it. So we also have servos so a lot of the hobby radios only can provide a 90 degree signal, but you might want 270 degrees of travel out of your servo. We sell servos also that scale the input signal. So this device might give it a 90 degree signal and our servo would do 270 degrees of travel. So that's, that's also available. Um, these servos don't have to be run from say a big chunky battery uh, if, if you're using them you know they can be plugged into an automotive power supply uh, they can be connected to a car the alternator noise doesn't matter our servos can handle a little bit of older over voltage uh, 14 15 volts without issue so noisy alternator uh, voltage on a vehicle is fine and so now let's let's use something different to power this let's say you're doing something with automation and you need a small power supply. So this is our 
product I-04251. It's what we call the Torxus power supply. And it looks like a common laptop power supply, but it is very different. Uh, most supplies, when you hook them to a large motor like this, they uh, fault, they go over current, and they go into a hiccup mode when you're trying to start the servo because they can't provide the initial burst of current to get the servo moving. Uh, these are made especially to handle that, and these will run four to five of our servos simultaneously without issue. Uh, and they plug into AC, they'll run on uh, 120 AC, 60 hertz in the US, or um, 240, 230, 50 hertz around the world. So uh, these are a great, great power supply, and we can connect it up in place of the battery. All right. And one other note about our servos, they have a lot of gear reduction. We have essentially two different gear reduction levels. Uh, there's a thousand to one reduction. There is 500 to one reduction. And that's what gives them the ability to lift extraordinary loads. All of our servos, uh, th these Torxus servos handle 1600 ounce inches or provide 1600 ounce inches of torque which is equivalent to 100 inch pounds. Uh, they can be overloaded up to two times that for short periods without failure. So up to 32 ounce inches or 200 inch pounds. So, and we get lots of questions about torque and it's very simple. So if, if you have the shaft of the servo and you have a 100 inch pound capability, which is our, our nominal rating, that would mean you could come out at a one inch radius and hang a hundred pound load, which we show in some of our YouTube videos. It would also mean that you could come out 10 inches and hang a 10 pound load, or you could come out a hundred inches and hang one pound load. So you kind of get the idea that the radius from the center of the shaft times the weight is, is the torque. We also have quite a few of our customers use uh, Arduinos to control the servos and that works great. You just provide a uh, PWM line and ground into the servo and then you still provide the 12 volt high current for the motor power. And uh, we've had good success with that using the standard servo libraries that are provided uh, in the Arduino IDE. And the second line actually fits into the socket on a hobby radio receiver. This can be anybody's radio receiver. Uh, this one is a fly sky, but it doesn't have to be that. And then I'll put five volts power to the receiver. And then the transmitters here will turn that on. And the Torx of servo wakes up, comes to life. And you can see as I move my finger, the output of the torch, the servo moves with me. And so literally, I can lift 100 pounds with my pinky if I were to hook up 100 pounds to this output horn. So thanks for watching. Hopefully this helps.